Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chin Fall Edition. Today I'll be making for you a salmon with cherry tomato and caper spaghetti. All the instructions and ingredients are located underneath this video. This serves about two people, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. So let's get to it. All right, to start off this whole recipe, very important, focus now, we're going to boil water. So now that we have our water on the stove getting ready to boil, I'm going to start seasoning the fish. But first, note something. When you buy fish from the supermarket or from your butcher, make sure you slide your finger across the sides and the top of the fish because there could be some residual thorns left in there. And if there are, grab yourself a pair of tweezers and you can just pull a thorn out if there is still one or a few left. Alright, so we are going to season our salmon now. So we have our salmon fillets, our salt, our pepper, and our lemon zest. Grab your salmon, no thorns remember. Grab a little pinch of salt, right over top, right on the bottom. Grab a pinch of pepper, on the bottom, on the top. Grab a little pinch of lemon zest, on the top. Make sure the lemon zest is just right pat down in there, on the bottom. Lemon zest is a little bit heavier, so you want to make sure that it's in there so the nun comes off, and it's perfect. All right, it's boiling. It boils! It boils! So now we see our water is boiling. Grab your salt. You want to salt the water vigorously. You want to put a nice amount of salt in here. All right, it's pasta time. Throw that in there. This is just one box. This is gluten-free pasta. I tend to cook gluten-free. I'm just mixing it around so it doesn't stick together. And you need the pasta to get right into the bottom of the pot so it cooks evenly, uniformly. I'm just gonna move the pot to the back burner. It's already on medium-high heat. All right, so we have our pan. It's warm, it's nice and warm here. We're gonna grab our olive oil. The olive oil goes in about two tablespoons. So now that we have the oil in the pan, the oil is nice and hot. You can see it's nice and silky. We have our salmon filet here. You want to put the top side down first. You'll know what part is the top side because it's the more oval side. The other side would have had the skin on it, but we have skinless salmon today. We have our cherry tomatoes in a bowl. We're going to add just a splash of olive oil just to coat them, and then sprinkle some salt and pepper on them, and then right in the pan they go with the salmon. So now that our spaghetti is nice and al dente, not overcooked, we want to reserve a little bit of the water and we're just going to strain the rest out. So we have the tomatoes in here. They are starting to blister, which means the skins are just cracking open so the inside of the tomato is cooking, which will release those juices. It'll make it so nice. It smells so great right now. And as you can see, the salmon is almost cooked on this side. We're going to flip it and let it cook the rest of the way from the bottom to the top. After that's done, we're going to take the salmon out, put it on a little plate, let that sit for a few minutes while we have our garlic heat up. So now that our garlic has cooked for about a minute, two minutes, just to smell the aromas, just to open it up, we're going to do my favorite part and smash some of the tomatoes to make almost like a tomato sauce. And as you can see now, you have some of them left over and you have this gorgeous smelling sauce just to put on your spaghetti. We're going to add the capers now, it's going to be so good. So now as you can see, some of the juices have evaporated and it's perfect that we saved a little bit of the pasta water on the side. The starchiness will bind it all together, the sauce will stick to the pasta. This is why we saved the pasta water. So now that the sauce is boiling, it's hot, the garlic is cooked, the capers are warm, the tomatoes are mashed, now it's time to add our spaghetti back in there. You're gonna quickly grab your half lemon, you're gonna squeeze the lemon over top, and then remember that lemon zest that we saved from the salmon. We're now gonna add that in here. And now that this is all done, we're gonna plate this and we're gonna top it with the salmon. And then right at the end, garnish it with whatever you feel like. I chose a little bit of chives. All right, here it is. I have made you a salmon with cherry tomato and caper spaghetti. It is so yummy, so delicious. The colors are amazing. It reminds me of fall so much. It's hearty without being so heavy. It literally has six ingredients. It's so easy to make. 
Thanks again for joining me here on another episode of Cooking with Chin Fall Edition. Again, I'm Nick Chin, and I really hope that your salmon with cherry tomatoes and caper spaghetti turns out just as amazing and delicious as this one did. If you have any questions or comments about this video or the recipe, please comment down below. I'll have what I'm having. See you soon!